What's up, creepers and geekers? Chris D. Tari Creep. How is everyone doing today, guys? I just seconds ago finished watching The Mandalorian. I figured, you know, while it's fresh in the brain pan, up in the gray matter, if I'm going to give you my thoughts, I might as well do it right now while it's fresh. As a matter of fact, I am still uploading the Toonie Terrors Michael Myers video as we speak. And as soon as I hit this, I need to finish doing that so you can view and enjoy that one as well. But I just watched The Mandalorian, and I figured, what the heck, I'll give you my initial thoughts. We're not going to get into spoilers. I'm not going to talk about the story or anything like that. Just thoughts, a couple of observations, nothing that you couldn't have found out through, say, the trailers. And um, just leave it at that. Uh, let me start off by saying I've never been a big fan of Boba Fett. Uh, I think I thought he was a cool-looking character. Uh, the 12-inch figures are great-looking. Um... But aside from that, he was just another cool-looking Star Wars character to me. I know a lot of you guys are really into it. And I'm sure there's expanded universe stuff that talks all about all of his grand adventures and stuff. To me, he was a cool-looking bounty hunter who evidently had a reputation. I mean, Vader singled him out in Empire, right? Uh, pointing out, no disintegration. So he's got to be a badass. But we see that, and then in the next one, we get swallowed by a sand vagina. By accident. So, I mean, I can't classify that as a cool cat, but that's all right. If you do, that's great. You do you, I will do me, and as long as we can agree to do that, everything will be awesome, won't it? But, so I went into this just thinking, okay, it's another product of Star Wars. Are we fatigued from this yet? For the most part, yeah. Um, but I'm still open-minded. So I watch it, the things happen on the screen, and I start seeing stuff, and it was okay. Um, a lot of people are, are, are screaming that it's great. I think I'm a little bit different. When I go into TV programming, and I know, I know there's a short amount of time that they got to cram everything in. Especially when you have the first episode of a new series they're trying to launch, okay? For some reason, it usually takes a, a, an episode or two for anything. The Sopranos were like that. That's one of my favorite TV shows of all time. For me to be really hooked in. And that's what this episode's all about, grabbing you by the balls and hooking you in. So it was laced with a lot of, oh yeah, I remember that, yes, you know. Um, I wouldn't say it was fan service to the point of fucking making me want to puke. Uh, but it felt very original trilogy. It felt very New Hope Empire original trilogy. Maybe not so much uh, Return of the Jedi, um, but it felt that way. Now, going on feeling, and that's going to be the key thing, how I felt about it overall. I went into it kind of numb, and I'm coming out of it numb. But I will say I am intrigued to watch the rest of it. It did its job, not to uh, a hysterical point where a lot of people probably will be like, Oh God, I can't wait to see what happens next. And I can't. Because the end left you with something going, Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Uh, and it was and it was pretty interesting in that. But I noticed throughout the whole thing, I was like, okay, that's cool. I'm starting to feel good because of the, the, the original trilogy vibe. And there were moments within the show, like two very specific ones, where the music started swelling and you were supposed to be like, ooh, yeah, yay. You know, you're supposed to... And I was just like, oh, okay, cool, that happened. And then there was another thing where he had a... Again... It's a TV show, so it's going to be compressed, and I get it. It just seemed like things just went like this real quick. But it didn't deter, it didn't deter me from enjoying the program. I just didn't have... Hell, I just didn't feel very much watching it. I enjoyed it. I'll say that. I enjoyed it. I didn't feel very much going into it, and maybe it's because I don't know the lore of Mandalorians as a race, and I don't know the expanded universe on the Bounty Hunter Guild I will say this, I hope this toy is coming out as a result of this. I know you can get your Black Series Mandalorian action figures and stuff, and they're they're hot off the presses right now. No one can get their hands on them except for scalpers, but I hope there are uh, toys related. There's creatures in here, like this one specific one that he has to ride upon that I think is really cool. It's like a, a mixture of a tadpole and a blob of shit. I don't know. It's it's a really cool looking creature, and uh, I would love to have... Is, you know what? Take a do-back... And squish it down and give it little little legs like this. Little front arms, I mean. There you go. 
And um, I want a toy of that, regardless. And that's really all there is to it. So uh, I'm just going to try to keep this as quick as possible. Overall, it was good. I had fun watching it. Uh, these things usually take a couple episodes to really hook me in. So don't take any of that to heart. Just know that that's how I feel, and I think it's worth it, especially if you are a Star Wars fan. If you're a fan of Fett and you love the Mandalorian and all that crap, meaning the race, not this individual, um, I think you're going to love it. I think it's going to be great, and you're going to be really excited for each episode. And that's the next thing I'm really, I'm really excited about. We have gotten into such a, a binge culture when it comes to like Netflix and stuff like that, and we've been, we've been spoiled in that. And I kind of want to binge this already. But it's looking like this is a weekly show. You know, like it used to be. We gotta fucking wait. And that's alright. That lets you stew on it. Maybe watch it a couple more times. See things you didn't see before. And going forward with it. But either way, those are my thoughts on The Mandalorian. Overall, thumbs up. I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to check out more. And that ending of the first episode really did, really did hit me and go, hmm. So, that's it. Your thoughts down below. Don't leave any spoilers, guys. This is a spoil-free review. Don't be that fucking dickhead down below. If we are best friends and you leave a spoiler down below, I'm going to block you for a little while because that's not cool. That's not a cool thing at all. People don't people don't want that, nor do I. But either way, guys, go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Until next time, I hope you're doing well. Thanks, as always, so much for watching. Take care. Creep it real. Wow, these endings are getting long now. And bye-bye.